Hey guys, it's just gonna be a super quick video today. Um, I did want to push this video out earlier because I'll be honest, I was a little nervous to push out my Too Big for Steam Deck revisit video. Um, I know it's not the regular Tears of the Kingdom content, but that's kind of the stuff I'm into as well. So if you're interested in that, check that out as well. If not, whatever. Um, I just wanted to say thank you as well for everyone who subscribed, uh, interacted in the comments, given feedback, things like that, uh, things to try. It's It's all been really great. The, the, I, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Uh, just thank you. Um, there is some exciting stuff coming up. I've been contacted by a company to do a product review on a handheld emulation device. Uh, so that should be happening near the end of June. So if you're interested in that and you're interested in my thoughts on it, subscribe, I guess, if you're into that. And then when the reviews and all that stuff come out, then you can unsubscribe if you want, by all means. Uh, but anyway, we'll we'll get into this video proper. So I've been reading up in the comments uh, for my previous videos and just things that other people have been trying. So some people are saying that there's now the 60 FPS plus plus variant and the 30 FPS plus plus variant of the mods. Um, so. People were saying, yeah, I was getting better performance in the 60 FPS. Um, I I was only ever using the 60 FPS in my testing. I didn't realize that there was the 30 FPS. So I brought it back and downloaded them both and started getting into the benchmarks again. So honestly, it's nothing really too exciting and nothing we didn't really already know. So starting off here with the Mount Doom run, footage playing in the background... Uh, Steam OS 3.4.6 with the 60 FPS versus 30 FPS plus plus mods. So you can see for the first three uh, runs was the 60 and the last three runs were the 30. As we can see here, the averages were all pretty well in line. Honestly, nothing too dramatic over there. The 1% lows, they were fairly in line with each other along with the 0.1% lows. Nothing it all looks fairly in line save for a couple runs here and there but honestly there was really no difference now getting into the 3.5 this is where we can kind of see some difference um so we already knew the through my previous testing that 3.5 does produce better results it's just better averages better one percent lows uh 0.1 percent lows especially with the stuttering and all that so testing the 60 fps plus plus versus 30 fps plus plus with the uh, 3.5 SteamOS update, we can see here with the 60 FPS mod, we're getting higher averages every run, or mo save for one. Now they are 28.9, 28.8, but these are 30.3, 30.3. You know, like it. They were consistently better, and the way that it felt to play was just better as well. It felt more smooth, more consistent. It doesn't really show too much in the results here, and honestly, even in the 30 FPS, it's still in line, right? So, going to 3.4.6 on the Doran back run, where it's a very heavy run, that's where you're going straight towards Hyrule Castle, and then straight back out to the uh, the little statue out front there. Lightning's going, storm, whatever, all that stuff. So here is where we actually start to see a little bit of a difference, where we have two runs here that had FPS averages higher in the 30 FPS variant. Now, the 1% lows, they were all fairly in line as well. 7.5, 7.6, 8, 6.4, 10.3, and a 9.5. You know, like it, the 0.1% lows were abysmal as well, but <laughs> that's already been proven in 3.4.6. You're just going to get more stutters, more moments of hitches, and it's just infinitely better in 3.5. But that comes with the downside of there being bugs, um, save for the screenshot bug. If you try to take a screenshot in 3.5, it's a black screen, so there's bugs like that. Um, there hasn't really been anything too major game-breaking or steam os breaking for me but i'm sure they're out there um so now going back over to 3.5 and doing the door and back run here we can see here that the averages were all pretty well in line we did have two runs that did have the highest averages in the 60 fps run or 60 fps variant 
So, without knowing fully what these mods do, to my knowledge, the 60 and the 30 FPS mods, the base mods, are the same. The 60 FPS mod just allows it to run up to 60 FPS. So we're never going to achieve that on the Steam Deck. Now, you will be able to get 40 FPS with the 60 FPS mod in caves and dungeons and things like that. So if you want to run a 40 hertz lock, knowing that you're going to drop down two moments of 20 or 15 at times um, when there's heavy, heavy effects, feel free to do so. Just know that you're going to get drops regardless. I would say it's really not worth it to lock it at 40 hertz because if you're playing outside, which most of the gameplay is outside, right? You're exploring and running around the world. There is a lot more dungeons now, yes. But in my opinion, going from like 40 to 20 FPS is too big of a swing for me for like the smoothness playability factor. But going from 20 to 30 is a little bit easier to stomach. It's obviously not that great. <laughs> it's not ideal. I'm, I'm not saying it's perfect. It's not as good or better than the Switch. That I'm not here to say that. Again, we will get to a point where it will be hopefully as good or nearly as good as the Switch. If you look at Breath of the Wild running on Yuzu, its performance is fairly similar, right? So it's just a matter of time, again, with all these mods and all these updates. If you're really, really itching to play this game and you, you gotta play it, you gotta play it on the Steam Deck. You're, you're dead set against playing it on the Switch. Run 3.5, honestly, that, that is a must. So if you're going to dedicate a bunch of time to this game and it's going to be your main game or your only game for a while, I would say it's worth it to update to SteamOS 3.5 and then deal with those little bugs as they come along. Now, if you're playing a bunch of other games on the go, you're jumping from this game to that game, you're not just playing Tears of the Kingdom, honestly, I would suggest staying with 3.4.6 just to better compatibility with your games making sure that there's no bugs or anything again i'm not i don't know all the bugs i didn't read any of the patch notes or anything like that i'm just installing 3.5 and just going for it so again just to wrap this quick video i say uh up if you're running the 60 fps plus plus there's really no point in going back to the 30 fps plus plus and if you're running the 30 fps plus plus you can try going to 60 FPS plus plus, but honestly, through my testing, as you can see here, the results were fairly similar. Like, yeah, we got two runs that were 26 average. They were one F, not even one FPS higher. There was one run here. Okay, so the third run, the first run, that was we got one FPS higher average. The one percent lows were the exact same. The 0.1 percent lows again, like not even one FPS difference. So I would comfortably say there's really no difference on the Steam Deck running the 60 FPS plus plus or the 30 FPS plus plus. Again, if you want to run 40 hertz, then you're going to need the 60 FPS plus plus mod. There is moments where you will get up to 40, but just know there's moments you'll get down to 20. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this one. I, again, just keep commenting in the videos. Let me know what you guys are doing, what your settings uh, you're running. As well, quickly, I'll mention somebody commented to go into power tools and pin it max, uh, pin the maximum to 3,500 and then just leave the minimum as whatever. But I left the minimum as 1,000 because apparently sometimes Yuzu will not use the CPU fully or something. I did do some tests with that and I did not see any difference at all so there doesn't appear to be any bug or anything like that happening but if you're paranoid or you're better safe than sorry by all means pin the maximum to 3500 and then honestly just set the minimum to a thousand it'll likely never hit a thousand it'll always be trying to pin to the max or close to but if you're paranoid and you just want to make sure you're getting the top tier performance out of your cpu do that and again i recommend all my previous settings and i'll list them in the comments as well That'll do it for this one. Again, thanks for watching, and hopefully everyone has a great day.